Okay, I've mentioned this comic before, so let's get nerdy. XKCD is a webcomic about science, love, math, romance, and everything in between. And then some. Randall Monroe started in 2007 when he wanted to archive his doodles from math class. He got some readers and it snowballed from there. I recommend this comic for its very simplistic style. It only has a couple panels every day, there are rarely any colors, and stick figures are the main characters. This is a science nerd comic. You will not get some of these jokes, and for others you will understand it completely. XKCD has a sense of humor of its own, and it is glorious. XKCD has a great archive with over 1600 comics, updates on a nearly daily basis, and I've learned more about math from XKCD than some of my actual math classes. The sense of humor is very weird, very specific at times, but all relatable. Just like my humor. In order to understand some of the things, I'll point out some of the specific comics that you'll find when you're reading through the archive. Um, one of them is Sandcastle. Months and months, the, web the webcomic would change on an hourly basis with, with going frame by frame through an adventure of a man meeting a woman and building sandcastles. It was an adventure and is only just recently finished. Another example was a one-panel comic where you click and drag to see the whole panel, and it was insane. You got to explore caves across the entire continent, seemingly, through the sky, the space, all just by clicking and dragging your mouse. It is very interesting. I even have a lot of wallpapers from that panel. Another example is his hoverboard game, where you ride a hoverboard trying to get all the coins in the shortest time possible. It was fun, and just a little simple game that he made. But all of his comics have a weird yet relatable approach. Like, for example, the comics down below that he posts as a selection of his archive. They are all weird, they are all relatable, and to some degree have some science or romance humor. There is an entire wiki devoted to explaining XKCD, and from that I have learned the crazy ideas that have gone into it in order to fully understand this webcomic. Even for something as simple as an infographic talking about domesticated animals, there's still a lot of information that people are still guessing about what it could mean. It is a lot to digest, and you will not be able, you might be able to read it all in one day. I wouldn't recommend it. And you will get a lot out of it. And it's a very particular mindset, but he has a lot of experience that does come out in his webcomic. If you want to look more at his thought process, check out his What If page on his website. He answers some crazy freaking questions. Oh my god, I, I don't understand why people would ask some of these. And he goes into all the single details behind the thought process. Hell, it, it makes for an easy, citable math, mathematical proof. <sighs> so, enjoy your little bit of science and nerd humor this week. Until next time.